Welcome back to Choggy Trogs Let's Play Dungeons and Dragons Online. We're starting up the next quest in our Depths series. This is the Depths of Darkness on normal. Oh no, it's yet again another Hobgoblin. I should have made them my favorite enemy. Alright, so we'll bring our Ratty Rat in. And I think we're good to go. It is oppressively dark here, save for a few flickering torches that might provide enough light to fight properly. Well, we could go down that way. I'm going to go this way first. <laughs> Take that 20 roll. <laughs> These are swaying back and forth. Woo That's pretty cool. No, Ratty, come back. I'll run down that hallway too far. Let's take this slow. Let's see if we spot anything here. Ah, there we All right, Ratty, we're gonna do something here. We're gonna run, we're gonna run forward. Rah! Good job, Ratty. Don't take any damage. Sweet. Okay, this is one of those traps, by the way. That uh, you know, when you're in a party, uh, you know, one person is always gonna be ahead of everyone else. As soon as that person passes, it activates, so everyone else gets hit by it. It's a pretty, pretty cool one. Oh, I feel a try with a. Alright, so now we'll do the other side here. Oops, I need that. <laughs> you know that target orb, it's like always telling me, like if I look down the hall and kill one, and then I know he, I just killed one, and I'm looking over here and I see that, there's, as a, it's almost like a peripheral vision, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, you, you can detect another one. Okay. Alright, so something's in, something's aggroed in that room, so let's go all the way around, check that out. I'm probably doing this backwards, because if you, if you were to go the other way, Obviously, you would be on this side of the trap panel and you know, get the trap disarmed and so rather than running through it. But whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I'm by myself, just me and my rat. Oh no, I'm getting exterminator things from my monster man from my my brethren. <laughs> Ah, green reptilian brethren. There we go. Hmm. That's what happened to Mary Mossan. They put her in the dungeon. Oh wait, no. She was actually a not moss. <laughs> All right, death to you, Mr. Skeleton. You cannot kill what has already been killed. So, like undead, I guess the, the proper way to say it is you uh, smite the undead when you kill them. 
they have been smote or smitten or smited. <laughs> I don't know, destroyed. I think we talked about this before. They don't really kill undead. I mean, they're not they're not killable because they're already dead. What do we have here? Yeah. Well, I see a yummy chest here. Let's go ahead and see what we get. Ah! Destroy the undead! Destroy them, ready, Rat! Whoa, that's a cobalt skeleton. Alright, now this is a side that a lot of people skip if they don't have a rogue or some way of opening this up, so. Man, I'm hearing some big footsteps nearby or something. Maybe it's just the ambient noise. It sounds really cool. It's like big like earth elemental lumbering around in the hallway next to us. Oh yes. Another chest. So I know we were at the auction house uh previous episode. And uh, you're probably like, man, you know, you had 140,000 flat. Now you're down to like, you know... 90, 99,000 or whatever it is and it's like well you know I'm investing in so I can make more and they're like long like short term and long term investments and of course I spent probably a good 20,000 or more on gear recently for myself so just to upgrade my gear ooh a long sword of shattering. Oh. oh, what's this guy's name? Balkani? What does that say? What's his name? Balkani. Hmm, interesting. Something's over here. There we go. Ready, get him! Get him ready! I must have been this spider here. I thought something was popping up behind me. Hmm. No collectibles, huh? It's funny, I was playing Skyrim the other day. My jump button for this game is not the same as my jump button for Skyrim. <laughs> and I'm used to the strafe buttons, because my strafe buttons are, in this game, one of those is my shout button. So I was like, right off the bat when I was in Skyrim, I, I've been playing a lot of DDO lately, so I was <laughs> going to play Skyrim and I shouted. Like when I sh hit the strafe button and I, I didn't jump when I, you know, Whatever the button was, it's like one. It's the button right next to the button. It's, it's a imagine a Logitech controller is like a PlayStation controller, and uh, most of my key mapping is the same though, like most of it. But there's just certain things that uh, I've always had key mapped. Ooh. Violet slime! Let's split them up. So I wonder uh, if that rat's eating that slime like and biting at it, does it wear the rat's teeth out? Like does he lose his teeth eventually? Because that's what it does to your weapons if they're made of like, metal and the rat's made out of bone. Or his teeth is at least. So you know, Calcium based. Well, they killed Ratty, sadly. Oh, wait, oh, oh. This guy must not have been aggro on me. Or that, that slime, <laughs> that particular slime wasn't aggro on me. But anyway, um, yeah, so my, my, my key mapping is a little different. I think ESO was, I tried to map it as close as I could to this game. ESO was a little bit more complicated, though, because they had to, like, sheath and unsheath and a few different other buttons that I had to 
so I had like a modifier key. Basically, like these buttons down here are uh, I hold a button down on a controller and then it doubles all my features. Like it basically, it's like a shift button. And so I did the same with, thing with ESO. I created a with X Padder. I put in a uh, it's like a an emulator for your key mapping. So I basically um, I'm saying I'm doing some strategizing here because I know that guy's in there. This guy, if he kills that guy too quickly, I don't get the uh, conquest bonus. I don't think. So I need to I need to think this through a little bit. Maybe let Ratty die here. Um, oh, Ratty's like no. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, ESO had a uh, had a pretty cool uh, uh, series of controls and commands. It's just that I needed to. Uh, try to simplify it. So modifying keys, modifier keys or shift buttons were, worked out the best for me. Oh yeah, I think they got ratty pretty well there. So there's like a little trick to doing this one. I think on uh, Elite there's guys up here. I don't know if they're up here in, oops, in this one, but ooh, I missed that jump there. I bumped. Normally I jump over the edge. Of course I normally have a jump buff too running. But, uh, not a big deal. And you can you can run across that uh, that little ledge over there and just hop over and grab this other collectible. But yeah, there's usually guys. Uh, I think there's like usually a couple of casters up here to fight. That's all right though. Just target these guys. And now I'll just hop down here and kite him around and. Hopefully that's everybody. So let's see how that worked out. Yeah, I guess we don't get aggression bonus in this one. Or anything more than aggression bonus in here. Not a big deal, not a big deal. <laughs> that's funny. It's a different look though, huh? You can toggle the helmet looks on and off. I just want to see my green hair, so I prefer usually not seeing the helmets in this game. All right, um, here one of these out of the three, I think it's the next one, has a collectible at the end of it, um, and one of like a little side alcove here. I don't. Shoot, I think it's like a rubble pile. Anyway, um, that's the end of the depths of darkness. The next quest will be the depths of discord so thanks for watching and we'll pick this up in just a little bit